Andrew Carter owns Delius Foley in Federal Hill. At the start of the pandemic, his restaurant began offering curbside dining. It was extremely popular. Those would be the first uh, tables to seat. Uh, I think people like being able to enjoy their food outside rather than inside. Uh, the, temp, you know, the, the warm weather, the music, the lights. Now the city wants to hear from you about whether to expand the emergency outdoor dining program, which is set to end at the end of the year, and make curbside dining and parking lanes a public right of ways permanent. Parking is already rough enough in this area. Andrew Cantor lives in the area and thinks curbside dining has led to some issues. It's time to go back to letting public areas be public areas used for the public and not for private businesses to reap profits. We're constantly weighing and balancing the concerns of the residents, the concerns of the businesses. Liam Davis is with the Baltimore City Department of Transportation. Under the proposed policy, he said that businesses would have to pay a fee based on square footage. We want our businesses to be successful and to, to make money. We also have to understand when you're leasing public right of way and making money off of it, you know, there is there revenue that should also be going towards the city as well. Carter says if the idea is approved, he thinks it will help restaurants and more will take it up. I think it's great for the neighborhood. I think people. I think it pushes people to come out and, you know, eat earlier, be outside, enjoy the good weather. And if you want to weigh in, just head on over to our website, WBALTV.com. The Comet Perry ends on November 14th. Reporting, reporting live at Fed Hill, Kyrie Stewart, WBAL-TV 11 News.